Hey, it's Mimi again, still talking about iPhone 6 Plus wallet cases and mounts that a wallet case will fit in. In particular, I have a Chevy Tahoe, which doesn't have a whole lot of real estate on the dashboard for mounting something like this, which is why in the past I resorted to my Velcro solution which made my husband cringe and it's too far away from my line of sight while I'm driving and I don't want to take my eyes off of the road. So after getting this Verus case from Amazon, it's the first time I had ever used a wallet style case and I really adored this case. I loved carrying just a couple of cards. It kind of forced me to whittle down what I was carrying around and I really liked the leather and how sleek it was. A little bit red for my taste. Anyway, so I'm getting off topic. This video is about this Easy One, Easy One Touch Two by a company called IOTI. I got this on Amazon. I think it was $25, $26. So this uh, Versus case really sold me on this wallet style design. I just couldn't figure out a way to mount this on my dashboard and I have a previous video all about that stuff. This is what this video is about <laughs> in case you're wondering. It's about this IOTI Easy One Touch to give you a better idea of how it works because I couldn't get a good shot of it while I was sitting in the car. And it's kind of about this beautiful 12 South book book case which I absolutely love. I resisted buying this and I bought several other cases trying to avoid spending $60 on this distressed leather case. And the only reason that I didn't just keep using this was because I just couldn't get it to stay in this IOTI mount. You would think, I mean, look how sleek that is. You would think the sleeker and thinner, the better. I couldn't figure out why these would not stay in the case when open when something almost twice as thick would hold in there beautifully. And I found that out by accident. This little protective case slides out of this beautiful leather wallet case. It slides out and then you've got your sleek little protective case. It does come over the edge like I've showed you last time. And this of course snaps right into this IOTI Easy Wunch Touch. Love this thing. Awesome design. I mean, this is beautiful engineering. The two of these together are just uh, a perfect marriage. And I probably never would have bought this if I didn't love this first. However, it doesn't have the functionality of being able to mount it. And I'm just not going to uh, wrestle, wrestle it out of this case every time I get in my car. So I'm sorry Versus, I love you but I must say goodbye. Now I have one more thing to love about it, and that is I don't even have to take it out of this case to get it to sit securely in this IOTI One Touch. Watch this. Watch the magic happen. So let me show you, I couldn't figure out why. Why did this thick 12 South book book case stay securely in the IOTI mount when these super sleek ones did not? And here's the answer. This is the answer. These super sleek ones, let me stick this on here. Let me stick this down here real quick. This is not really gonna work all that well because it needs to be weighted. So we'll see here if that's gonna stay. Okay, look at that. Look at the beauty of that. It's not going anywhere. And here's why. It has nothing to do with whether it's sleek or not. The thing that makes these cases so sleek is the thing that makes them not work in a clamp mount. And that is that the hard shell case is integrated into the back cover. So the sleekness of it is that you don't have a double thickness here. Whereas the benefit of the book book case, the, the fact that it comes off of here means that it can't be integrated into the cover, which means that when it's folded over, there's a lip here, there's a lip on both sides for the clamps to grab onto. Whereas these super sleek ones, for one thing, it's got this tab and that gets in the way. That could, you know, you could work around that, but this round slippery part of the case doubled up with the thickness of this, it cannot grab onto to both of these for some reason. I'll show you again. However, this is a thin leather, not thin, it's a thick leather. It can 
get a hold of both edges of this, where it can't get a hold of both edges, the front and the back. So because it can only grab the back, the front swings forward. And whereas all it's really gripping to is the leather on the book book, the case is being secured by the Audi clamp and Audi clamp, and the phone is being secured by the case. So there is the answer to the mystery. I just wanted to clarify that because if you don't care about being able to take the case out, this is really a beautiful case. Let me take this out and show you my son's phone out of there. Okay, so that's how even the interior of this is lined in suede. This goes like this. It's really a gorgeous case. I never would have bought the book book if I hadn't bought this first. Look how pretty this is. And it's just so sleek and skinny and pretty. It doesn't hold as many cards as the book book. And then let me just show you this. Now I'm not really sure what this video is about. I'm getting off the track. I also want to show how secure this is. Let me put this on here. So that fits just great like that. Wow, that's wonderful. However, you don't, I mean, what's the point of driving it with it closed? If you try to open it, you can open it and use this if you're willing to have that flap flapping around. Okay, um, but because it's got this little lip, it, you're going to have to lift it up like this. And if you want to fold this back, now you've got this thickness here to deal with. And I just can't get it to grab. It, between all this stuff, it's just not... Okay, so it puts some pressure on there. But now here you can see the dilemma. Whoa, oh crap, I don't know. I have, a, it seems like you should be able to find a solution to that, but believe me, I tried. I did not want to spend 60 bucks on a case. So believe me, I tried to use these two, two products together that I really loved and I just could not find a comfortable way to do it. It just slips right out. And it's because it can't grab around. It just can't grab around both two pieces of leather and the plastic case. Whereas with the book book, it's not grabbing the plastic case. Let me show you again. With the book book, with the Varus, it has to grab around the two pieces of leather, the little strap and the plastic case. And this is not any thinner, but the way it's designed, it's not grabbing around the plastic case. All it's doing is grabbing around the two thick pieces of the leather case. And that's what it's grabbing onto and that's what it keeps it secure. Same goes with this super, super ultra slim. This is called ultra thin snap-on case. And you'd think if anything's gonna fit in there, it's gonna be this sleek little number. It doesn't hold. It can't hang on securely. It can't hang on to the leather and this rounded case. And the book book just solves that problem because it doesn't need to grab the rounded case. There's that. I did want to show you super quick that in the video, you can see I'm kind of in a hurry because I'm always trying to make my videos shorter, but I didn't have all these things tightened down. But once you find the perfect orientation that you really like, you can tighten these all down really nice and tight. In the video, you're seeing it kind of bounce around, but it's very stable once you've got it grabbed in there. So it grabs, it grabs onto a case like this, but if you're using a wallet case, that's when you're gonna run into this challenge. It grabs onto something like this really well. And then the beautiful thing is to, when you put the phone in, it snaps around it with the pressure on this button. And instead of having to pull these things loose like you do with something like this, so I'll, do, I'll review this later. That's this thing, I guess not two hands, but it's still spring mounted. Whereas this easy one touch, you put this in here, it clamps down just from the pressure of the phone. And to release it, you just squeeze these little, you squeeze these little side buttons and it pushes the clamp arms out. In, out. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that this is very secure. It doesn't shake around or feel precarious when you're tapping out a phone number or whatever you do on your phone when you're trying to drive. I mean, all of these things I bought myself. Nobody sends me anything for free, which is fine with me because I only like to make videos about things I'm excited about. I don't like to, I don't like to make negative videos. I like to tell you about things I love. 
all of these things I bought on my own and uh, if I don't like them I usually return them that's why most of my videos are positive because I return them before I ever have get excited enough to make a video okay thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful and um, I may do a better video <laughs> about mounting this thing um, if you're not sick of this topic yet I'm not sick of the topic yet okay gotta go see you later